Hip-hop is 1987.com. It's real time, Mr. Pops is 1987. We out here right now. We in the Atlanta area. I'm with a gentleman that's making some noise. We're going to talk about where he's from because y'all know I'm from Philly. And he's from Philly himself, just not the Philly that we used to and whatnot. He's making a lot of moves in the entertainment and the hip hop world right now. So it's only right that we sit down and talk to this brother. Goes by the name of Hood Loco. How you feeling, player? I'm good, man. I feel damn good. Before we even get started, I want to thank you welcoming, welcoming us into your home. You know what I'm saying? Like, we in your home right now, getting it down. So, not in the studio. Your set and nothing like that, so that already lets us know like you're a real cat. We appreciate you having us here and whatnot. But I want to let our audience and our fans know a little bit about you and whatnot. So before we dive into this this interview, I'm gonna ask you a few basic things, of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hood Loco, you know, like where does that come from? Where'd you get your name from? Man, I come from the hood. You feel me? So shit. Like, really, man, that OG man, they call that nigga fool. His name was fool, you feel me? And that nigga, man, that nigga do to bump heads with each other when he come through. He always come through my neighborhood. He from another side and shit, you feel me? And he was like, man, we always talk shit and shit. He was like, man, you loco, man. Call you loco, you feel me? <laughs> so shit, I be posted up, he be coming through. Me and my partners and shit on the block, he be coming, man, loco, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, the whole hood just ran with that. Like, man, you loco. For real, that's a fine name too, you feel me? I was solo before that though. Okay. My my partner, Steven, you know what I'm saying? RIP, he had called me solo. He like, bro, you, you rock by yourself so much, I'ma call you solo and shit, you feel me? After he died, shit changed and shit, you feel me? Nigga just started going crazy and shit. Your buzz is taking off right here in the city of Atlanta and taking off in the South, period. But as I just mentioned a moment ago, you're from Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Mississippi. Yeah. And it's ironic as we were talking about that and me being from Philly, PA, up north. I've been to Philadelphia, Mississippi before. I was a young boy. I was about 16. Got to be in the hoods, different things. Talk to us about Philadelphia, Mississippi, what the music scene is like there and what life is like out there. Yeah, ain't no music scene. Ain't no, no such thing, no music scene. You feel me? We young Jeezy. And Lil Boosie, you feel me? That who got them raising us around them. And, uh, shit, the life got them, it poverty. You feel me? Everybody know everybody. It's so damn small. Everybody know everybody, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And niggas got down. Niggas hate us. You got haters. You got OGs. You got all type of shit around there. Man, it's hard to explain that place, man. It ain't no place to be, though. For no young guy, you know what I'm saying? No black guy, period, you know what I'm saying? Plus, it's it's a slavery time. So all the white folks gone down there hate you. I ain't just gonna say all of them, but you know majority of the white folks hate you, you know what I'm saying? And the teachers hate you, you know what I'm saying? They come from slavery and shit. They, they, they family with slave owners and shit, so that's how they were raised around them. You know what I'm saying? I remember got down. I was a I was a youngster, got down walking up the street, some got down white boy rolling down the road, throw some gum on me. You feel what I'm saying? Shit, I knew then you got down shit real, nigga. Get this girl, cause it us against them. You feel me? We can't go to they fur. You know what I'm saying? They fur ain't got down. You shit, them folk gonna hang the shit out your ass over there. You know what I'm saying? That was the three civil rights leader got killed there too. But for the hood though, it low, it mad low though. You know what I'm saying? They hate us like everywhere you go. And shit, there's some money in that motherfucker. Nigga get money. You know what I'm saying? And niggas die every day. Niggas gonna die. Your ass gonna, they gonna find your ass. Your ass gonna die. You feel me? Niggas die. Bitches die. You know what I'm saying? Kids die. For real. It might not be a different scenario, but they die. You know what I'm saying? It's that that time of devil. It got a lot of death around them. You feel me? I had to shake that spot for real. But well, it's a lot of telling though. You know what I'm saying? But it really ain't no place to be. I'm telling you, it ain't no goddamn place we going to tour or nothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't need trying to go there. I'm gonna go there and see my family because some of my family got down. They don't want to come up out of there. You feel me? But Shit, I ain't trying to be in that place there, man, you know? Shit, everybody know everybody. It ain't like you gonna walk past nobody that don't know you. 
You know what I'm saying? They gonna know you, so they gonna pinpoint you. Oh, he did this, he did, did that, that, that. Even the preacher, he gonna tell you when you come to church, oh, you need, oh man, come on, you gonna criticize me. That's all it is, criticize me right now. Ain't nothing about that. That's funny you say that. We was talking off camera and I was telling you when I was there, like I learned that about it being a slavery town. Mm -hmm. And one of the OGs that had me out there when I was able to learn and kind of stay, that's what he said. The lights start getting dark. He was like, oh no, it's time to be going in the house now. You know what I'm saying? We, we going in the house now. Like that's something I, I, will, I will never, ever, ever, ever forget that experience. Now you just spoke to me about Jeezy. You spoke to me about the Boosties. Coming up, who were some of your favorite artists? Shit. He ain't really have no favorite, you know what I'm saying? Like, but G's and Boosie raised me, you feel me? They raised me. And I had people like that I used to like as they come, like just listen to him, Boo. He from Jackson, you feel me? So I used to got down listen to him and shit. Uh, young niggas for, you know, I ain't really listen to young niggas. I listen to goddamn Kodak. But they went to my way back then, but ain't nobody but Boosie and G's and Webby, you know what I'm saying? They were we listened to Trill Fam and whatever whatever they had coming out, they were who we were rocking with. But we listened to G's got down, G's got got down. In the morning time, you got down, get up, time to get ready. You know, one thing, listen to Jesus. He gonna teach you some <laughs> shit. You feel me? He finna teach you how to got down. Yeah, he gonna, he gonna teach you how to make it through the day, and Boosie gonna <laughs> teach you how to got down, separate the real from the fake. And got down, and and how to got them maintain and keep these motherfucking niggas from running. You feel me? That what Boosie taught us. You feel me? Taught me. I can't speak for nobody else, but I just know my partner and them too. How they was around when we was as a group. You feel me? That's who we rock to. Yeah. And Webby, Webby Savage, like you know that nigga Savage. I fuck with Webby. So hearing all those cats and whatnot as you was coming up, when did you decide that you could, you know, possibly get your opinions, get your voice out there and be heard and, be, and do music and be a rap artist yourself? Man, we been flowing in the neighborhood. We been got down. Niggas was got down busting raps, you feel me? We ain't call it rap. We call it got down. I mean, we feel go tell the truth on it, so we ain't give a fuck how it sound, you feel me? And we just got better at the crowd, but, uh, Man, I always wanted to be a rapper, though. I ain't gonna lie, like, man, just looking at Jay-Z videos on, on BET. One one never just, nothing I just listened to, but I remember coming up young, you know what I'm saying, seeing the lifestyle. It, it wasn't so part about being a rapper. I just be like, man, I gotta live a lifestyle because where I come from, we don't see that. I ain't see that, I ain't see too much of that. So when I look on the TV, right now I see, Damn, majority of this shit be fake, but when I looked on the TV, this what I wanted, you know? So I'm gonna put it in my life and make it reality, you feel me? Yeah. Now you got some of the biggest heavy hitters and I wanna say tastemakers in, in the South and in the Atlanta, Atlanta area pushing you, co-signing you. They letting us be know, they like, yo, this hood loco cat, he's the one, you know what I'm saying? He's speaking yeah. real talk, as you're mentioning right now. You're living a real lifestyle, this is this is next, this is the new wave. How'd you get up and how'd you link with DJ Scream and DJ Swamp Izzo? Man, Swamp, man, it, it's crazy, bro. Like, this shit was just meant, bro. Like, I believe in God, so big shout out to both of them guys. Like, but Swamp, I met Swamp first, you know what I'm saying? Like, I stay in the script club, and that's what he do. You feel me? He a DJ in the script club, I stay in the script club. So, we, we already see each other face when we when I start coming in and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, just catching the vibe with each other, man, as as we go. You know what I'm saying? As the days roll by, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a blue flame baby. <laughs> you see me? I just feel like that. Mom talk about blue flame, man. I've been, I went in that bit every day. Whatever you want, man, meet me at the flame. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that. So that's how we caught our connection. You know what I'm saying? He gave ready to come in. I probably feel to get ready to go, cause I go in real early sometimes. Okay. You feel me? So we shake up, I holler at him. And then, I be recording music, so I'm like, I'ma get it to the DJ and shit. So I was getting my music and shit. He, he wasn't taking it real serious at first. He was taking me serious, but he was like, uh, he, this ain't what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? He would tell me, though, like, he was like, I was like, man, I got a little song and shit. He like, all right, fuck with me, send it to me and shit. But, you know, he knew I wanted, he just like, this nigga just, like everybody else, this nigga just doing like that every day, you feel me? But. I really wasn't taking it serious though. Like I, 
I wasn't, when I was taking it to him at first, taking a little movies, I was just showing him like, nigga, I rap, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I was doing, like when mother asked me what you do, I be like, ah, I'm a rapper, you feel me? And they be like, cause I get that a lot, you feel me? And shit, we just got a connection, man. And shit, I hooked up with JC. And shit, I was, man, Swan was already cool. I'm talking about we was already like this. I get, that's where I get my warns from, man. That's why I'm, when I get ready to holler at my girls, that's who I'm hollering at. I got to holler at Swan, you feel me? Hey, man, when you feel me, he going to bless your boy. And shit, <laughs> and we had been to chain numbers and shit, but you know, that just was on some mutual friend type shit, you know what I'm saying? And... Shit, he see I'm taking the music serious. He like, shit, bro, I'm with you 100%. It's, it's like, you know, we, it's, it's bigger than the music with us. You feel what I'm saying? I'm with you 100%, bro. Like, you ain't got to worry about nothing. He like, shit, man, I respect that, man. I just, I just respect him the way he just, you know what I'm saying, take me serious. You feel me? He believe in me more than I believe in myself. For real, you that's feel me? Real. That's yeah. Real. Now you mentioned the flame, and you talking about Swamp Bizzo being there. That's something that's real unique here in Atlanta and the South. How the strip club culture and the rap culture go together? Can you tell me and talk to me at least from your experience on how that's beneficial? How the strip clubs and the rap culture are so close together? You know, you man, you know, just like Boozer said, you know, all the whole of rappers and real niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it just. You know, the script was like niggas with money, and you know, street niggas and rappers got money, you feel me? And, you know, rappers, they, they got down. I feel like it go good because I really live this lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? I really live it, you feel me? It ain't no, I'm trying to be without the camera. I'm talking about, you know, I'm going to be fresh every day, you feel what I'm saying? Got down. And I'm gonna go blow me some money every day. You feel me? And I'm gonna make me some money every day. So that's why I feel like that go hands in hand. Like, man, I really need to be a rapper. These folks need to know who I am. Instead of got down, ask me who you is, what you do. Nah, you know who I am now. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. Do what I do. You feel me? Yeah, that's how I feel like it go together. Yeah. Now we hear your single is doing real things, man. It's taking over. I think over the summer it's gonna become a hood anthem out here. We gonna hear it in numerous strip, strip clubs, not yeah. just the flame. But talk to me a little bit about your single, "Do With It," and how it all came about, and the whole meaning and concept of the record. Man, that "Do With It," shit. It, what you gonna do with it, man? Cause you got damn it. For real, I came out. I probably I don't ran across a lot of niggas in my life. I'm just be honest, I ran across a lot of people in my life, you feel me? And a lot of niggas just be, they ain't authentic, they ain't real, you feel me? A lot of niggas talk this and talk that. Like, man, come on, bro, like, you're you gonna, you gonna speak shit up and then you gonna do this and do that, ask for this and that and that, and then you just go, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it, bro. I really don't know how to explain it, but like the song, it's 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 really how it sound, bro. Like if if a nigga fuck with you, nigga, how you gonna how you gonna fuck with him back? You feel what I'm saying, like nigga, you always talking this, you always talking that, nigga. You know what I'm saying, but you ain't never doing it. You feel me? You ain't never making no move. Like I'm I'm gonna show a nigga, like, bro. I just I'm gonna be honest. Go back to the other question you had me a while ago, and then it's on the same thing, like. Like, nigga don't take niggas serious, you know what I'm saying? And you feel me? Like, I'm gonna show a nigga, like, nigga, you gonna fuck with me regardless. You gonna fuck with me regardless. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna put it in your face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you can be good, but you gotta be better than me. You feel me? I'm gonna beat you at your own game. That's how this song get right there. Like, niggas be talking all this, brick talk, all this, that and that. But what is it? Like, show me, you feel me? Because you go go to a little jail or something. I ain't nothing to my show me in re reality, nigga. When I see you out behind the camera, dog, like when I see you ain't with your big homie, nigga, like I ain't got that with me, nigga. I ain't rolling like that. Me and that FN, you feel me? So that's when I'm up again, like shit. I'm, I'm going at these niggas throat. They know who I'm talking about. Shit, they can hear it in they sell, nigga. You do this, you, what's, what's up, nigga? Because you don't play the game. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I come to do, man. I come. That song right there, I made it at the car wash. I was thinking. 
You know what I'm saying? I was in the car while I got them. Had the dude outside watching the car. We got them listening to the beat. And I was mad at mother because mother testing my phone, bullshit and shit like that. You feel me? And I'm like, man, it just can't. The beat said it itself, nigga. Nigga, your homeboy give you a break. What you going to do with that bitch? Then your bitch already jocking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then the nigga want to play. That be my thing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You be, nigga be having, be want to do so much like they this and that. Nigga, I Nigga, I already done killed your empire already. You know what I'm saying? Cause your whole one of Josh, she know a real nigga already. You fucking up, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just an authentic ass nigga. I'm just laid back. I ain't gonna do nothing. I ain't gonna fuck your bitch. I ain't gonna do nothing. But I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna beat you at your gang. gang. Your rap gang. I'm gonna beat you at your goddamn. You say you got this and that nigga, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no nigga pushing me. You feel me? I'm gonna have all that. I'm gonna have everything. I got it. What you got? What you all you got, I'm, I'm gonna go get it, you feel me? I'm, I got the title to all my cars. I ride brand new cars. I got titles to them bitches. It ain't no goddamn leasing. My dad and my mom and them ain't got goddamn going to get me nothing. I ain't got no manager who going. This shit real, you feel me? My life real, so. But it's music now, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the music. But that's how the song come up, man. By these niggas fake, bro. They lying. I know a lot of rappers. I know rappers. They lying. <laughs> nigga, you ain't got no fucking money, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, I'm just saying, these niggas be lying, bro, and then, you know what I'm saying? Then, uh, you go, you gon' see, a real nigga gonna put it in your face. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't no, I'm gonna put it in your face. I'm talking about, fuck a camera, it be on the camera, I'm gonna do it a little harder, you feel what I'm saying? It just, but. That what it is. That how that song come up, man. You know what I'm saying? And then that 50 Cent part, it just kill the car. I always listen. I think about 50. 50 be on these nigga ass, you feel me? I respect 50. He wasn't just, he, he had that album back then, they get rich or die trying, you feel me? That's the one I was stuck on through, throughout my That's a life. Classic. Yeah, That's throughout a classic. my life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, shit, that how that last little part, cause these nigga wasn't. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never shot no nigga. These niggas ain't sold no dope. I know them, you know what I'm saying? These niggas ain't bought no damn car. You feel me? I think they looking at me and rapping about me. Hell, <laughs> you feel me? I, that's how I feel, you know? You know, but some of them, I respect a lot of them because I see a lot of them out. You know, I don't know them like that, but you know. But shit, I don't like that putting on shit, bro. I like some real shit. I like that. Put on that real shit, bro. I don't like that putting on. You ain't got to put on, bro. I'm going to speak you for what you do and what you say. You feel me? But all that extra shit, you ain't leave that, leave that where it's it, bro. Cause you feel what I'm saying? Cause it real niggas out here that got down, you know what I'm saying? It niggas out here that for real, for real, you feel me? And nigga be perpetrating, however you say it, nigga got down. Nigga ain't authentic, bro. You feel me? They live a rap lifestyle, mine cold. <laughs> now, you just spoke on, you know, you out here getting it yourself and whatnot. So you got your own label that you pushing and whatnot. And I, I, I see something that's kind of unique and whatnot. It spells love, but not as, you know, L dot O dot V dot. What you, what, what you doing with this, man? Talk to me a little bit about the label that you putting together and what you're doing with that. L-O-V-E. L-O-V-E, man. You know, A to B. You know what I'm saying? It's, man, I really can't, I can't explain this shit, though. It's bigger than love, though. It's bigger than, it's bigger than what people see. You feel me? It's bigger than that, like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't the average, bro. This ain't what you seen, you know what I'm saying? I see they, I see people making big moves and shit, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is about, you know, I know, the world, the world have a lot of people in it, you feel me? And I think it's a lot of people like got a story to be told, you feel what I'm saying? And I think I could bring that to the table by just, it ain't about no money, you feel me? Like, I'm willing to make a million people rich. I'm willing to pay, make everybody rich, like, but it ain't, it's bigger than money, like, it's L-O-V-E, like, you can have all the money in the world. All the money in the world, you know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker don't love you, motherfucker don't fuck with you, like, they don't, like, it ain't nothing. You feel what I'm saying? And that what it is, be, man. I've I been on my own, bro. I've I been on my own a long time and shit. Like, I got a mom and dad and shit, but 
it was, I say it was the good Lord. He pushed me away from my, my family. You know, I got in some trouble and I had to leave from my town and shit. So it's, it's a big difference. And uh, what I had to approach was, with love, you know, what I what I look at, it, it was bigger than love, cause everybody say I love you. Everybody go tell you I love you. When you got something to give a motherfucker, they love you. They fuck with you like That's I love you, but like, shit. yeah, but like me, like you can't tell me you love me. Like it ain't, I hear that every day. Like, I hear that every day. I got people that borrow some money from me and gonna tell me I love you. Cause you don't got the light bill paid out. You ain't love me two, two weeks ago. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's bigger than that with me. It's L O V E. When I say L O V E, you gotta have a real feeling in it. It gon' you gon' feel this in your soul. You know what I'm saying? When I fuck with you, if I fuck with you, I'm stuck with you for life. You know what I'm saying? They'll do us part. That's anybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody I roll with. You know what I'm saying? It's it's bigger than money, and it, you can't explain this shit, bro. It's just it's big, bro. You can't explain it, bro. Motherfucker, it ain't no entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It's really a family for real. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a family, and it ain't no game. Cause we got a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That we fuck with. You know what I'm saying? We take people as they are. You feel what I'm saying? And immaculate. You feel me? I don't know like if people know what it is, but I I look at it like like L O V mean a lot of different things. It, it's big, bro. I got people from a lot of places like poverty, like bigger than Mississippi. It ain't just about Mississippi, Philadelphia. You know what I mean? I got people way over the country, so you feel me, that, that, that can't, that, that, that try to feed their family, you know what I'm saying? And they, they can't. I got people that, that can't go, go to get a job and shit because you know, I'm like, I, it's, it's just big, bro. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring love, bro. I'm trying to, it's bigger than love. What I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to help a lot of people. I'm trying to make a lot of people life better. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if I can help somebody, I'm gonna help them. I'm gonna open up me some goddamn, some rehab and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I wanna help a lot of people. You feel me? I don't, I don't, I don't respect nobody that, like, okay, you can go give this and that back, okay, but listen, if you going if you trying to help somebody, let's help them though. We're gonna get some people out the street and some old thing, but we're gonna really show you like this L O V E like if I'm if I'm just take my time on the side of the road and stop and give you two hundred dollar bill, I might as well put you in a back seat. What's your what's your social security number, your your name and everything, let go sign you in their rehab and get you some help. You feel me? Cause you ain't gonna take my two hundred dollar or my my shit. I'm finna give you goddamn and and go get to the net man trying to make some money. I understand. I respect the hustle, but that ain't what I'm trying to do. If I'm gonna try to help you, that ain't helping you, bro. You feel me? That ain't helping you, bro. If I'm gonna stop at the side of the road and give a man some money, and shit, I ain't for the. I'm gonna take. I ain't gonna stop. I'm gonna be real. It's a different type of love with me. You know what I'm saying? I, my wife said I showed them some love, bitch. You just did that for an image. Bitch, I'm talking about if I'm gonna do it, bitch, I ain't, ain't no outside, no cameras in there. I'm gonna stop. Hey, come on, what's wrong with you, man? Get in the back seat. Come on, go do this. You feel me? Because I done had people like, the best people I done had fuck with me and help me is like crackheads and stuff like that. And, and I done seen them get their life together. You know what I'm saying? My granddaddy was a crackhead, you know, and he the best man in the world. I mean, he taught me a lot of things. You feel me? He taught me how to, how to get out and survive. But as it coming in the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, as I had to move away, that's who I had to stay with. I had to stay with people like that. And you know what I'm saying? If you fall in love with a person like that, like, how can you just still let them do this? Like, how am I gonna let you goddamn be on drugs? And I'm telling you, I love you. You done helped me. You done gave me a spot to stay. It might not been the best, but if we help each other, goddamn, we to get better, you feel me? If you gonna give me a shack to stay in a little bedroom, how? Got them, shit. I can help you get better, shit. You might can go get us a mansion. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's a different type of love I see. Like I ain't, if if I fuck with you, I'm stuck with you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say L O V E. Like L O V E, nigga. Like if I tell y'all, let you know I love y'all. This I'm telling you, nigga. L O V E for real, nigga. You better listen to me because if I tell you this. I love you, goddamn it, and they'll do us part. That mean if I L O V E 
fuck with you, bro. Like, shit, ain't no crossing. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they high. It ain't no way out of this. If you L-O-V-E, that what it is. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no L-O-V-E, you know. No, it ain't that type of party. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, it ain't, that's why, shit, we ain't looking to really link up with people. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just want to be heard. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got a story to tell, too, and this the new game. This the new hustle. So we just follow the line. We ain't come to take nobody's shine. But we gonna let these niggas know this real. Like it's really real over here. I ain't finna let nobody go in no studio with me and speak no flaw rap. If you ain't did it, you ain't gonna say this. And it ain't I don't care about that. You know, we ain't gonna incriminate yourself, but we ain't gonna we ain't gonna put no fishing down. We gonna go bring authenticity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause this a book for real. L O V E when it, when it's all said and done, they gonna be like, yeah, that was real. We ain't finna get on no internet and do this, this with no numerous niggas. Now we gonna keep it real professional, you know. And we trying to have some. We trying to build an empire, you know. We trying to help people out. You feel what I'm saying? When you see us, you know, you gonna see a lot of different kind of people. But this is what it is. We ain't fucking with you because you got a name or none of that. We ain't need tripping on that. You feel me? If you gonna fold that L O V E, cause you ain't even gonna come over here with that bullshit. Nobody, that high, that high happening, like, you ain't coming over here with that bullshit. And we don't give a fuck. We going anywhere in the world, we gonna mind our business. And you ain't coming over here with that bullshit. Nobody. And that just word to my mama, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we rockin'. That's what L-O-V-E stand for, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? If you don't fuck with us, stay away from us. If you say you love us, goddamn love us, L-O-V-E us. Cause you know what I'm saying? I hate to goddamn, I don't know folk. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be in tour with no niggas I don't know. I ain't finna go nowhere and I have to now cause that ain't me. I don't know, I got bigger beef. I got niggas wanna kill me right now. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I be up against, you feel me? So I ain't finna go Put my energy in nothing else with nobody. You feel me? That's what L O V E stands for. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody, it's L O V E. The niggas that hate me, L O V E, bro. You hate me, stay away from me, bro. Just mind your business. This L O V E, this is what we trying to do. Something positive. You feel me? And don't don't get in the way, cause you go get ran over. You know what I'm saying? That real, bro. It ain't no high and sugar coat nothing when you. You gonna know we ran you over. You gonna know, and the world gonna know. L O V E ran them over, and then we gonna. It's gonna be this. You feel me? Just don't fuck with us. I'm telling you, like. That's what L O V E stand for. We showing love. Don't fuck with us. <laughs> that's what it is. We showing love. Don't, don't fuck with us. But for real though, that's what it is. Like. Yeah. So I see you making a lot of moves, as I say, right now in Atlanta and throughout the South. Before I let you go, man, I, I got to ask you, how did you link with his Air for Music, JC? And what's next for you? What, what next do you have coming up out here in the music realm? Man, JC, he jammed. Man, JC was been trying to holler at me, man. He be seeing me and not. He was trying to holler at me. And uh, I was in the studio. I needed some beats and shit. He called, he called Beat Monster. Mark. Oh. What stew was y'all at? We at Patchwork. The world famous Patchwork, yeah, okay. Yeah, world patchwork. famous Patchwork. Yeah. yeah. And we at Patchwork and uh he called Beat Monster Mark over for me. And trying to let me hear some beats and shit like that. But then when Beat Monster Mark came on, I had to go and shit. So when I come back the time I was back over there, he was hollering at me and shit. And we just it just was a genuine connection, man. The man just chopped it up with me and told me like, man, I hear your music, bro. You got some dope ass music. He was like, I think we need to put it out. I know some people like, let's just put it out. And then he he he, he spoke on Swamp, you know? <laughs> he spoke on Swamp. I was like, man, Swamp, my man, you feel me? That's that's my boy. He was like, shit, I, need, I can holler at Swamp for you and, and a couple more DJs, bro, because they gonna love this record, you know what I'm saying? And shit, that's how it went ever since then, bro. I ain't gonna lie, shit. That shit done went crazy. Shit been moving yeah, and shit. So what's next, crazy. man? What 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 what's next for you? I got this little thing. Now I um I got uh 
Another mixtape coming over Swamp. I think it's coming on next week. Okay. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, Real Clock, No Cap. Okay, I yeah, that. Real Clock, No Cap. Yeah. Shout out to Swamp for that. And, uh, yeah, and we're going to have one more after that. But I got my own project coming up, too. And uh, it's going to be epic, man. I don't know when it's going to drop, but it's coming soon with that motherfucking epic. It's going to be the hardest mistake you ever heard, bro. This bitch going to be like an album. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, this bitch going to be an album, but it's going to be a mistake, though. You feel me? I'm, I'm wrecking all album. I'm going to make my mistake an album. Yeah. We're going to be looking out for that, man. Let our people know where they can check you out on social media so they can stay in tune with your movement. At my Instagram, at Hood Loco. That's the only thing I got. Instagram, yeah. Terrell Thomas, Hip Hop since 1987. We out here somewhere in the Atlanta area rocking with my man Hood Loco. Once again, thank you for having us in your home, good brother. Damn sure appreciate that. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more from this brother coming out. Make sure you follow Eldorado2452, Danny Digital. Big shout out to my man JC for hooking us up, letting us know what's going on out here. Swamp Izzo, DJ Scream. Plenty of folks are screaming your name and letting it be known you the next one up, man. So we, we definitely had a, you know, a dope time and honor to sit and talk with you and look forward to what you got going on in the future, man. Hip-hop since 1987.com.